Very good. We're getting ready to transport a patient, and we've got a full cylinder here, which we know will last us 10 hours if I have one liter per minute, or one hour, 10 liters per minute, following our general thumb rule. And this tank is definitely enough to transport the patient. We've got a board and gauge regulator because it works in any position, depending if it's in the ambulance or on a stretcher or in a Nightingale helicopter. So the first thing we're going to do, after we've got our equipment together, is we're going to crack the tank to remove any debris. And before you do that, I'm going to yell, crack in the tank. And the reason for that is you don't mainly scare your patient in the hospital setting or anybody else around. Then we're going to take our piss regulator, pin index safety system, which means the pins are at 2 and 5 for oxygen and will only fit an oxygen tank. And this is the new type lightweight aluminum regulator, so we're going to put that on. We ensure it had a gasket for a good sill, and we're going to hand tighten the thumb screw here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open the valve all the way, ensuring that we don't hear no leaks, which I don't. And opening the valve, you're always supposed to open it all the way, which is the longest part of the process. And once it's all the way open, back it off a quarter turn, and the tank is open. Our doctor's orders prescribe the four liter per minute flow, and being we're using a Gordon gauge, we're gonna turn the knob, which is gonna increase the pressure against the orifice in the gauge, which is gonna provide us our flow. There you can see it's going up to two, about three, and there's our flow of four liters per minute for our patient. So, okay, the patient, we're done with the patient. The patient's transferred to another hospital now, so we disconnect the patient. We're going to turn off the flow, and there goes the flow down to zero. Then what we're going to do is shut the tank, which takes a minute just like opening the tank. Okay, we're going to ensure that it's shut. And the reason we use these plastic wrenches is so that way you can't put too much torque on it with a metal wrench and bust this valve stem, which could rupture the tank or many other dangerous things. Now, before we take the regulator off, this step's important. We're going to bleed out the pressure through the flow meter. So we're just going to open that up and wait for the pressure to go back down to zero. The flow actually go back down to zero, which is going to tell us we have zero pressure in this type gauge. We're going to reshut that for the next person. And we're going to grab the regulator and slowly loosen it to ensure there's no pressure. And then we're going to loosen it and take it off. And then we're done. Thank you, and everyone have a wonderful day.